In 2014, my speech was extremely stylized. It was just one long poem. And the poem was based on the story of the three little pigs. And it had a big bad wolf. And he had a big bad voice like this. It wasn't me. Yeah. There was no connection to the audience yes. through my words. Yes. I was just telling them a story, but I really wasn't bringing them into my story, into my life. I hope that all copies of that speech got burned and destroyed. said before that a dream is like a house. How strong it is depends on how you build it. The story you're about to hear may sound familiar. That's because this story could possibly be based on you. Once upon a time there was a boy and he built a house for his dream. The boy said, I'll be a basketball star. I'll be in bright lights. I'll be just like Mike. Michael Jordan. Will I be on the cover of Sports Illustrated? Maybe. And will I have lots of fame and lots of money? <laughs> Woo! You bet, baby! <laughs> However, the boy began to notice on the playgrounds and at the gym that he wasn't the biggest person on the court. He wasn't the fastest person on the court. In fact, he began to notice everything he did not have and not on what he did. And he lost confidence. And from out of the shadows came a destructive force, a destroyer of dreams and houses alike. It goes by many names and it comes in many forms. But for the sake of this story, he will be known as the Big Bad Wolf. And the wolf said, a basketball star, that's what the boy seeks. But sports require confidence of steel, and his is too. Yet he's built a house of gold for his dream. I should be in awe, but a dream made without faith in yourself can only make a house of gold straw. And a dream like that, the big bad wolf cannot allow. So I puff, I puff, and I blow your house down. And like that, it was gone. And the boy learned lesson number one. Dreams require faith in yourself. The boy grew older, he went to college, and there he built a new house for a new dream. He said, I'll be a businessman. There's no debate, I'll be rich like Bill Gates. Will I be on the cover of Forbes magazine? Maybe. And will I have lots of fame and lots of money? Woo, you bet, baby. However, Ask the boy, how was your finance class? It was okay, okay. How was your economics class? It was all right, all right. How was accounting class? <laughs> the boy was capable, he knew that, but something was missing. He didn't know what it was, but you can guess who did. The big, bad, wolf. And the wolf said, the boy has the brains, the boy is smart. But what does he lack, you wonder? It's the heart. You think just being capable is the trick. But a dream made without passion can only make a house of stinks. So nice try, but no, this dream cannot stay around. I'll huff, I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And like that. And the boy learned lesson two. If you have a dream, your heart needs to agree. Now our boy was lost. He was stuck in a black void. He didn't know what to do. 
He had no dream. He had no goal. He just did what a lot of people do. Lived life by chance. But by chance, he stumbled across a sign. And that sign read, Toastmasters. <laughs> and immediately the boy thought, what in the blue blazes is a Toastmaster? Curious. He went to a meeting and he fell in love with the art of words. The way you read it, the way you write it, the way you say the right thing to the right person, the right way, and woo! And he built a new house for a new dream, a grand dream, a dream greater than all the rest. He said, I'll be an English teacher. I'll spread the art of words. I'll be king of the nerds. Will I write an article for Toastmasters magazine? Maybe. And will I have lots of fame and lots of money? No. But this time, it just feels right. However, there were a lot of people who didn't like this new dream, this new house, and we can guess who one was. The big, bad wolf. And the wolf said to the boy, boy, let go of that foolish dream. But the boy said no. And he said, you can't be rich or famous with that dream. To which the boy replied, so? The wolf said, woo, this boy is stupid. You should be a clown. I'll huff, I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And like that, that house stood firm. Now why? It's so simple, but the boy, like so many others, make it so complicated. When you love what you do, and you have faith in what you do, that makes your house, it makes your dream as strong as brick. And you don't care if you're not the best. You don't care what people say. You know that your heart is in the right place because faith and passion make your dreams happen. That was lesson number three for, yes, this boy. It's a lesson that he plans to follow from now on. How about you? Toastmasters, friends, life will be full of challenges. There will be challenges and hurdles for your dream. There's a word of caution that you must heed. And who better to give it than the big, bad wolf? And the wolf says, Faith and passion make your dreams happen. That much is true. However, there's something that I really must tell you. And I want you to keep it in your brain until your days are over. You lose an ounce of faith or passion. I'll be back and I'll have a bulldozer. But if you can keep both, congratulations. Shout it from the rafters. Your dream survived the big bad wolf, and you lived happily ever after.